Welcome to Houston, welcome to Fluidity. I'm really excited to share the FT Aviator with you. It's an amazing drone flight controller that really makes drone flight control incredibly intuitive, almost a subconscious act. I can control all four primary uh, axes of the drone with my a movement of up and down of my thumb, and then with a stick, forward, aft, left, right, and then twisting the stick. And then with my non-dominant hand, you can, you can be a righty or lefty with this thing, you control the camera asset. So this is the tilt axis. And then we also have you know, the ability to start and stop video, take photographs, toggle through really important, you know, commonly accessed features of uh, the camera system, the shutter speed, exposure compensation, and so on. And I, I always know when I'm making a command and when I'm not. And the reason that's important is to eliminate what's called cross-coupling. With a traditional two-thumb controller, you oftentimes see when you move with your, your left thumb, you may get a little bit of a left yaw drift. And then with your, your right thumb, if you're moving forward, you oftentimes will have a little bit of a, a trend right with your thumb. That means you're going forward and a little bit of a drift to the right. It, it results in lack of precision. And what the Fluidity FT Aviator is about is, is delivering precision to the pilot. So the FT Aviator is compatible with the vast majority of uh, DJI products from the Mavic Air, uh, the Mavic Pro, the, the 2, um, the Enterprise, uh, Inspire 1 and 2, uh, Phantom 3 and 4, uh, the Matrice series all the way up to the M600. Uh, so we have a lot of versatility. Depending on your radio, uh, you could either use a lanyard directly onto the, uh, the clip of the, uh, the radio as here for the, the Phantom 4, or we use a, a special uh, belly band that we ship with the product and what this allows you to do is carry your your Mavic series radio on a lanyard and uh, there's a little handy hole here to allow you to connect to the USB port on that radio. We call it the surfboard here but it's a, um, an appliance that sits on the side of the controller. We can mount our smartphone in here and, um, and then uh, we're going to be uh, still using the, the DJI radio in the circuit. It can either be you know, sitting next to us, we can also carry it on a lanyard, so we'll set that up here in a minute. We actually have an adjustable thumb loop here, so you squeeze these little tabs, and if you've got a big beefy thumb, you can fit it in there. If you've got a tiny little thumb, you can squeeze it all the way down, but you adjust it to, to comfort. And what we're doing here, this is the collective or the throttle, we can either pull up with our thumb or squeeze with our index finger. That's going to cause us to ascend with the drone. And to descend, you just simply press down. There's a dynamic balance. So you can actually have very, very uh, precise, almost rheostatic control of, of your altitude as you're flying. It's, it's really uh, pretty cool. Um, some people will want to uh, carry this in their non-dominant hand. Other people may want to use this brass insert, a quarter 20, so a typical tripod insert. You can mount it, mount it on the side of a chair, wherever you'd like. Um, I like it this way because I can, I can have my hand right on the camera controls and, and uh, it just feels very comfortable to me. We're going to go ahead and power on our FT Aviator. You'll see the colored lights on the display up here. But uh, let's go ahead and launch the app here. So what you see here is our uh, initialization page. We've got a hamburger here that will tell us our uh, app version, the firmware version, and so on. And then we have the whole ecosystem for FT Aviator. So starting with our FT Aviator, our smartphone, our DJI radio, and the drone itself. So you can see our battery percentages in each asset, as well as the connectivity between them. Everything's blue, we're good to go, we're ready to fly. So we'll hit go fly. I'm gonna bring in my buddy, uh, George. He's actually the co-founder of the company, and we're gonna do a pre-flight and a safety brief. Uh, we've already checked the airspace. Uh, things look good, filed our land sea. Uh, this is a, a place with uh, you know, folks wandering around. We're gonna obviously not fly over people. We're gonna kind of bias ourselves over to the, uh, the left here. And um, we have some special procedures with the FT Aviator. In the event of loss of communication, we'll take uh, the, the radio uh, from P to A and then back to P. And there's actually a pop-up on the app that you'd see as you, as you launch the app. So there's a reminder for, for pilots flying the FT Aviator. Yeah, so uh, we've done all our firmware updates on all the drones. Uh, we've updated all the maps, so I think we're ready to go. I concur. Why don't you take the, the Phantom 4 down to the pad and uh, I'll follow you down with the... Uh, Sounds great. The radios. Cool.